TV. You're still watching Morning at NTV. We're also online, Twitter and Facebook, NTV Uganda. We're having a conversation around trade unions. The minority of workers actually registered under uh, trade unions. Yes, yet you actually need your voice to be heard. And as we go into this election period and we're talking about uh, special interest groups, workers are part of those, and we're going to be diving into that. But also, where are the voices of women and workers? I mean, do, do, do these things get lost in translation? To join us for this conversation, She's organizing an education at Not Two Women Committee and also a panelist at in the Industrial Court. I have Mugambwa Nganzi Harriet. Good morning, Harriet. Good morning, Flavia. Thank you for joining us this morning. Thank you, and thank you for inviting me. For yes. This show. So, Not Two is the national national organization, organization of trade, trade unions, unions. Yeah. and you are telling me that uh, when you look at workers in the country versus those who are under trade unions, the number is very little. What happens there? Why? Why aren't why isn't the number able to be for the majority? Yeah, the problem we have with uh, organizing them, mm. first of all, we have like interference of the government oh. because the government here, when you are organizing, there is one time when the president said that don't interfere with my investors. Uh, and most of the employers here are investors. Work, okay. Yeah. So when we go to organize in those areas, first of all, some of them don't even allow us to access the, the workplace. Premises, yeah. So you find that having the interaction with the workers, we must get them outside the workplaces. But even you, you after having the interaction with them outside the workplace, when they are interested in joining the trade union, don't you have to go still back? Still, you then? must have to go to mm. the employer to negotiate the recognition. So it is that uh, problem mm. that we are having. It is a very big gap. But we are we are hustling because at least what are they afraid of? What happens when I when you join a trade union that maybe the investors are afraid of or government is afraid of? The problem we are facing with the, with the employers, mm. they think that when workers are organized in trade union, they are more, they are more exposed to knowledge. Mm. They will know their rights, and mm. the employers mainly want to sit on the workers' rights. They don't want to, to for them to get all what they are entitled to. Mm. So because of that one, they want to marginalize the workers in, in terms of payment, mm. in terms of their rights. Working environment as well. Exactly. Mm. When you go to term in terms of health and safety, you find that the workers are not provided with the gadgets. And you find that under the law, mm. the worker is supposed to be protected by the employer, okay. not the worker protecting herself or himself. But yes. the employer is supposed to protect, protect. the worker. So they feel that when these workers are exposed to all their this rights to know exactly yeah. what they are entitled to, they will also be... They'll demand. Of course. <laughs> They'll so demand they this fear right. that expense, mm. and they always want the workers to be down, down, down. When it comes to salary increment, you know everything is being done by the worker. The profits these employers have, all whatever they have, it is the workers that are working for mm. towards that. But the worker, when instead of uh, also paying a worker to be happy, they just want to accumulate the profits, the profits at the expense of the worker. At the expense of the worker. So that is the biggest problem. Yeah. And, and do you get times when the workers themselves don't see the value of the trade unions? Because now we're talking about the bosses. But then maybe the workers also saying, I would rather not. This is the easy way out. In most cases, we have not. A few can mm. think that, uh, no. The work, uh, I because the problem we have here, when the employer sees that this one is a, a member of the trade union and has gone to the stage of knowing all his or her rights, mm. they tend to bring that worker to the managerial position to the other side. Bias. S yes. <laughs> so when the worker looks at himself or herself, going to the managerial position mm. and looking at the wa at the, the other side. <laughs> so he says, yeah, let me go. Let me go and, and cross get to this. this side. Yeah. But uh, they, they don't know that the moment they cross the other side, mm. the benefits of being a member of trade union are also cut off. Maybe you can break it down for us. Do we join the trade union as a category uh, industry or uh, per company, per group? Yeah, we have uh, different sectors. Mm. And these sectors are also organized under different national yeah. unions. So, for instance, we have the mining and metal sector. So, we, uh, we have also the gas and mm. the oil. So, we have the union for mines, metal, oil, and gas. 
We have the medical workers. We have the union for Uganda Medical Workers Union. Mm. We have the union for nurses and midwives union. Yeah. We have for Uganda Public Employees Union that is taking uh, all the national water sectors. Mm. We have uh, national union of commercial, professional, and technical something. Mm. But that one takes all the banks. Ah, yes. Uh, so we have different categories. Then we have uh, transport and uh, amalgamated transport and general workers union for all the transport sector, including the airport mm. and all the transport sectors. So they are grouped according to the, the sectors. sectors. Okay. Mm. But at least each and every worker belongs to a sector. A sector. Yes. Um, so we were talking about representation of the workers in parliament. We have seats because it's a special interest group. Is it five seats? We have uh, six, now let me see, but we have five workers, mm -hmm. members eh? yes. of parliament mm -hmm. representing the workers. But for as the special interest groups, mm -hmm. we have in parliament, we have the workers, we have the youth, youth dis we have people, the persons women, with disabilities. Uh, women, people, work wi people with disabilities, we have... Uh, why you PDF is also <laughs> <under that laughs> yes. no. and I think now they're adding <laughs> the elderly. But no, um, so, so you were telling me one is affirmative action. We're talking about women and in the, in the leadership, and you're saying just in the organization, you're saying that some have more women, have more men. But are we seeing women rise up to the leadership roles? We are already seeing uh, women raising up to this leadership. But let me begin with uh, the parliament. Yes, we have five members of parliament. Okay, one passes it. Affirmative action. Affirmative yeah. party. These, these four remaining positions, we are free to part participate. In the election. In elections. So out of the four, we have one extra. So we have two. Women. Women and mm. three men. Mm. Which is uh, somehow better. <laughs> Though we are also agitating to have more So we come away from the somehow. <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> now other women are also coming on board. So mm. we are saying, why can't we push mm. another woman on the general? Yeah. Because there have been two, three, two, three. So w why can't we also be three, two? W w when, we, when we want to have the woman there in mm. the leadership position, we don't just want the woman there just because it's a woman. No. What are the unique issues and factors for women workers that you feel we might need a woman to back us up and to represent us? Oh, in, the first in the first case, you must be capable to represent mm. the people. And you have also to show that, uh, you have to show that interest. You might be capable, but you are not showing interest. That's true. So you must also show interest, and you uh, must show us the need for you to be there, to be supported, to represent us there. Mm. So we look at all those factors, and integrity also matters. It's because we don't want to get someone there, and then they start pointing fingers, say, look, this is the workers' MP, this is yes. the workers' representative. So we look at so many aspects or so many factors mm. in order for us to say yes this one can represent us there and that is what we have done because at least the women we have sent there have not disappointed us what are some of the what are some of the things that we look at and take and say this has been achieved this has been done by the women in this leadership the first thing is representation mm. how yes. are you representing us how are you pushing our Agendas, issues yeah. because when we come with our issues, are you representing them? Are you presenting them there? Mm. And how are you defending them? How are we going to achieve them? Are you coming back to get our mandate? Because you have, you must come back to ask us: Is this a main line? You don't just go there and uh, be swallowed up mm. by the corridors and you start thinking oh, for for yourself. You must always think for the people you are leading, and you should always bring the feedback. If you fail to bring the feedback, and, and are those issues, sorry, being received only from, let's say, the the union, the organization, or from everybody, every worker, whether registered or not? You see, when you become a member of parliament, you represent. You all don't only represent the, the union, the organized labor. Mm. You cut across mm. to all the workers. So when you are there, you are just for all the workers. That's why they are. They are country representatives. Yes. They are not only to reach that, each see? part and each region. Yes. Yes. Mm. So, so what are some? You were saying that um, if you're organized, you're able to have a voice for your challenges. Let's just call them that. 
What are some of the challenges that rise up? Among the workers? Yes. Yeah, now we have the biggest challenge mm -hmm. as workers, eh, as women workers. Yes. The fir first one is eh, gender-based violence. Yes, because when these women are having these leadership positions, mm -hmm or when we keep calling them for these workshops, because we have to call them for workshops, for we have to empower them. Yes. So when we call them for these workshops, you find that eh, their husbands somehow, they don't understand what their women are doing the mm. other side. Because sometimes we, we, bri we take them for like eh, two days, Previously, well, we used to even take them for a week or two weeks. Even with eh? transparency to say this is where so-and-so is going. Yes. So you find that uh, men are not giving them that opportunity to come. Mm. And who in case they go back and realize that, huh, the workshop was having so many men, <laughs> so they also start There's a problem there, there yeah. as well. But we are trying to empower them to... As about us, how do you solve such an issue? Because that's a mindset of somebody else that you have no control over. Yeah, but it is me mm. to remove it out of you. Because this You mean each each partner, the, pa the other person's yes, partner? Yes, so mm. we are giving them some highlights or we are empowering them on how to overcome that one. Mm. Because before they leave their homes to come for the for workshops for or the these trainings, workshops, yeah. d you share it with your husband, show them the program you are going for, and even when you come back, show them the visible items like, uh, because we give them handouts. Yes. So at least show them that, uh, yes, I have been here, this is what we have uh, discussed and this one can also help you mm. at your workplace this is what we are we, we are doing here in that you also say stays take him through what is being done yeah what yeah. is being done so that he can also understand you and also pick interest other than saying yeah i have to go because i <laughs> am empowered no because this one is a different eh, person yes. so you have to take him through all what you are, do you are doing but we have it mm. as, a, as a challenge gender-based violence yes but when we come back at the workplace, mm. we have, as women, mm -hmm. we also have, you know, this one has been going on and on and mm. on, but we have sexual harassment. In the workplace. Yeah, sexual mm. harassment, though it's they say that it is two-way traffic, and which is true. As women are harassed, men, men are also harassed. Yes. But the biggest percentage is are the women. women yes. But what we have done now, mm. we are... We but are before before you tell me what you've done, are, are the cases being reported? Because that used to be a problem for, as you said, the problem has been there for a long time. Mm -hmm. We used mm -hmm. to have issues where women would not report, thinking, I don't know if this amounts to sexual harassment or sexual abuse, where someone would ever afraid if I report, this is maybe my boss. So do you have cases of more people reporting? Yeah, they are reporting, mm -hmm. but still there are, still they are few mm -hmm. who are coming to report. But we are trying to remove that fear out of them by giving them more sensitization. And we are also coming up with workplace policies on yes. sexual harassment. So we want each and every workplace to have a policy on uh, sexual harassment. Mm. Well, because we have the main law, we are even in the inter international, the ILO convention is there. And even all the global unions now Coming, uh, have come up with a policy. So we are also encouraging all the unions, all the workplaces to come up with a workplace policy. Yes, to mm. govern, tailored to govern yeah, each exactly different place. Yeah, exactly, because mainly people shy off. Mm. They can't say that this one was harassing me. Because the questions that go with that, w with yes. that uh, are very intimidating to a woman. How, how did he do it? How did he start? How do you feel everything? So you find that uh, a woman becomes... They're discouraged. Yeah. Mm. So, but we are trying now to encourage them mm. at whatever cost you open up. So if you don't open up, that means the problem will continuously be there. Mm -hmm. So to break the chain, we are encouraging them to open up and giving them protection. Okay. Because it is uh, one As way of say opening what support. up mm. and another of losing your job. Yes. So you ha when you open up, we have to make sure that we have protected you. You don't lose your job, you remain on your job, and uh, we make sure that things are put straight. And understood. Yeah. So those are two challenges. You've said domestic uh, violence, or gender-based violence, actually, as you mm. termed it, and mm. also sexual abuse. Mainly those are the main challenges. And uh, another challenge which is being faced by women at the workplace mm. is, uh, of course, they, they, they don't promote them. They are looking at uh, a woman mm. as uh, much as the woman is trying to contribute towards the 
the profitability of the employer, but they are looking at her as a, a loss when we put him in this position. You know, tomorrow she's going to be pregnant. Go Need a year <laughs> off. Uh, for a uh, for leave. Yeah. And then the child is sick. Mm. What, what, what? So most women are not promoted to leadership positions. Because of the lost working hours. Yeah, but uh, we are also trying to to see how we can break that barrier. Mm. So that women, will be because we are supposed to share equally with men. If my level of education is the same as your level of education, then if we are being promoted, why not me? Let's compete on merit. Yes, mm -hmm. let us compete on merit. And uh, it has been proved that women can even perform better than men mm -hmm. in these managerial positions. So if that is the case, why do you look at me as a woman? When, it I when, uh, when I'm carrying your child, the child is for a man. Hours. Yeah, <laughs> it is hours. But you look <laughs> at me as a loss, but uh, the other one is not a loss. It's not a loss. In fact, it can be promoted. Yeah, yes. so you find that there is this that mm. imbalance, but uh, we are trying also to, you know, for, for our issues, mm. we gradually... More but why, why is it like that, Harriet? Why is it that women's issues, and I've seen even in when we discuss the elections, um, women issues, women representation, women inclusion, it's almost like it's a conversation that has to take baby steps. Why can't we be drastic in our solutions? You see, with us, we are now coming drastic. You see, the problem has been that eh, men have been having that pride of being leaders, mm -hmm. and women are supposed to follow. For instance, like when we go, I'll come back to that. For instance, when we go for these workshops, we go as men and women. We reach the first thing is we are supposed to get leadership yes. for that day. Mm. When we say the chairperson, they will choose a man. <laughs> Gender balance, the social becomes a woman. Mm. But we keep encouraging the women that when you go for these workshops, mm. when they say leadership now, mm. the chairperson, put up your hand and say a volunteer to be the chairperson. Then gender balance, the, woman, the man who has to be the secretary. Mm. Then when it comes to welfare, let the man be <laughs> welfare, you become a, a timekeeper. Assistant. Mm. No, timekeeper. The woman at least, because the woman will be there, saying now it is time. Now the stop. Presentation, now let's uh, go on. <laughs> so that you can also be seen as controlling. Yes. You can really control. They can see that you can really chair the, mm. the session so that they can earmark you that this one is mm. capable. In that tomorrow when you come up for a leadership position, it's a yes, I think this one can eh, do better. Yes. That's how we are going to break oh the child. Okay. Okay, because you must you. come out and show yourself mm. that, eh, yes, I can do this. Let's do the little roles to show that we are present yes. as we rise eh, to the next for roles. For visibility, because if you are not visible, you will never come out. Mm. Eh, so we are trying to start small. To start like that. Uh, but the problem, yes. the other problem mm. say why we people the our things are going slowly slowly, slowly baby slowly, steps slowly. yes it is because of uh, the nature how we are how we are groomed mm. because they groom the woman that you are supposed to do this they will the man is supposed to do in that even when the woman goes to the workplace keeps thinking that i'm a wife i'm, I'm a woman the leadership is not for me yes mm. so we need to remove that that concept out of our thinking mm. so that you just see i'm harriet you are john Mm. But we are equal. We are all human beings. Mm. We are. We have same brains, mm. and we can compete at the same level. Uh, when we're putting um, workers, as you said, in, in, in the election agenda, mm. um, uh, it's not um, in our best interest to discuss workers as general workers. We need to understand women workers right as yes. separate entity yes. why is there a need to to separate this conversation when we're discussing this we need to separate this conversation because even in the trade union mm. you find that most leadership positions have been taken up by men and some unions are male dominated mm. so that's why we have to bring up this uh, this discussion how do we include the women, women workers, yes. workers mm. into leadership positions? Mm. So how do we do it with us as a committee, yes. not a committee? What have we come up with? Mm. The first thing we are centering ourselves to empowerment. We need to empower these women with all the skills that they need so that we can build confidence in them. They say, yes, we can eh? do this one. We can compete. We have formed women committees mm. at the workplaces. So we have started at the national, and we encourage the, the unions also to have them at the branch level, 
and at the shop level mm. so that when they are in, tho in, their, in those sessions, when they, they have taken up the leadership positions as women, mm. they also start discussing their, their issues. issues. Yes. And it is because of this one that they from this one they will, they will try to get build to, mm. the confidence in them so that they can also vie for other positions with men. Mm. So that one we have done and we are encouraging the women to take up not the women positions, positions, but general positions. Leadership positions. And leadership I like that. Positions. Don't just choose the women committee, exactly. women's positions, leadership positions. Leadership positions. positions. That is why we are encouraging the women to take up leadership positions for visibility. Mm. Yes, that's yeah, a good because keyword. it is visibility that matters most. Mm. For instance, we have the women who are already representing us in the leadership position. That's why I'm in, in industrial court. Yes. I'm a panelist in industrial court representing the workers, and I'm a woman. Mm. And we also, okay, that other one, it's also a women committee because I'm the vice president of Sub Saharan African mm. Industrial Oil. Visibility. Africa, like Africa but it's yeah. visibility because. Yeah. One time I went to South Africa, that was in 2002, mm. it will, uh, before Industrial Oil, we had International Metal Workers Federation, and my union is affiliated to, to that uh, global union. So when we reached there, it was the main conference in South Africa, which was bringing the whole world together. Mm. But you reach there, Africa first sits alone, yes. uh, Asia sits alone, Europe sits alone, they, f they form their committee, mm. they come up with the res resolutions, to feed in the main in the yes, main conference, yeah. so we go for Africa. As we are there, the regional secretary says, "This time we are going. This session is going to be chaired by a woman from Uganda, mm. and they call out my name." Good. So I had to chair the meeting, international meeting, and when the secretary general of uh, IMF came and found, they told him there is a woman chairing a yes. meeting. That said said, what, this is the first time in the history of uh, IMF. Can you Let imagine? me go and <laughs> see. So when he came, and I was really cheering, and everybody was mm. uh, happy, he said, I'm recommending you to come for summer school in Geneva. I was there for a month, but because of uh, visibility. Of visibility. Yes. So <laughs> women, we should be visible. Mm. We shouldn't shy We should off. be seen yeah. going for these positions. Because if I was called, if I they had called upon me, and say no, no, no. And you shied away. Say, uh, no, I'm feeling. I'm not feeling well. Those yeah. are uh, funny excuses we give. I'm not feeling well. <laughs> they choose on the man. I wouldn't have got that. Uh, yeah. That, that chance. Yeah. Uh, as as we wrap up uh, today, if we are to ask earning the workers, women workers vote. Mm -hmm. um, what should the aspiring leaders be looking into? What are those key things they should be touching on if they are to earn that vote? If you are to earn up, if you are to earn the vote, the first thing. You must show the people that you are really capable. Mm. You create the network support chain because it has to cut across. Yes. Because even this woman on affirmative action mm. is, uh, is also voted by all the workers. All the workers, yeah. Though they are, they are only women mm. and uh, they must give a woman. Yeah. But uh, for these other ones, first of all, you break that chain, you create a network chain mm. so that you ca you call upon everyone to come and support you mm. because mainly we have these eh, men mm. who are also looking at themselves that no as one potential one leaders, yeah, as potential <laughs> leaders. <laughs> yes. so we have to break that chain mm. get support from the men get support from, from the, the women. women and especially from the women because the women also are the ones supposed to also sell you to to those men. To the others, uh, okay. If you don't get the big support from the women, mm. then the selling, selling of yourself might also Become be a, 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 mm. a big problem. I hear you. And because we want mainly the women in decision-making bodies, what we have also done, we have uh, trained mm. women negotiators. Mm. You know, we work through negotiations with employers. Mm. So you've trained them to be able to take such a role and know what to In say negotiation and what to do. And every negotiating team must have, have women. Woman, okay. Because when you go to negotiate, you are negotiating for maternity, paternity, paternity <laughs> form. But we must make sure that the woman is there to negotiate. And she probably understands the issues better. Exactly. Uh, Mugambwa Nganzi Harriet, organizing and education at Not Two Women Committee, and also a panelist in the industrial court. Thank you so much for your time this morning. Oh, thank you. For All right. Uh, let's okay. get the traffic update.